Welcome to this video explaining the new functionality available in Pitstop Pro and Pitstop Server version 13 update 2. This is a free upgrade to any users already using Pitstop versions 13 or 13 update 1. Following the success of subscription licensing in Pitstop Pro, which was introduced with Pitstop Pro 13, Pitstop Server 13 update 2 will now offer monthly or annual subscription licensing. Previously, users would find generic brick icons versus the familiar Pitstop Pro tool icons while working with Pitstop Pro and Adobe Acrobat DC. Pitstop Pro version 13 update 2 now addresses the issue regarding icons on retina displays and so the Pitstop tool icons now preview as expected in Acrobat DC. For the best viewing experience, you should be using Acrobat DC Update 3 or higher. In this release, we've upgraded the Pitstop internal Pantone color libraries to their very latest versions, including 112 colors that were most recently announced. Additionally, we are including the Pantone Plus Solid Coded V3 and Solid Uncoded V3 color libraries in two versions. One version with a LAB alternate color space, matching those shipped with InDesign CS6 and above, and another version with CMYK alternate color spaces for users that prefer to work with CMYK versus LAB. Please note, all color values used are official Pantone values as shipped to their licensees. Pitstop 13 Update 2 ships with the latest preflight profiles released by the Ghent Workgroup. You can find more information about these profiles on the GWG website at www.gwg.org. The resolution reporting of images has been improved within the InFocus Navigator. When preflight results display errors or warnings related to image resolution, Users will now find the actual resolution of each image within the InFocus Navigator, which means you no longer need to switch to the inspector to retrieve this information. The speed of preflight restrictions has been improved by allowing the preflight profile to remember selections, which eliminates the need for pit stop to apply restriction selections more than once. Use with caution. If a preflight profile contains fixes, it's possible that selected objects will change and therefore the objects should be reselected. The use of action lists within the preflight profile has been extended and so it is now possible to create new action lists from within this panel without having to jump to a different interface. Users can now assign selected objects to an existing layer or to assign them to a new layer with a simple right click of the mouse. We've made anti-aliasing an option in the Pitstop rasterizing engine, so all action lists in Pitstop Pro, Pitstop Server, and PDF to Image have options to turn this functionality on or off. This has also allowed us to make a new action list specifically for rasterizing PDF files with residual white lines as a result of transparency flattening. This action list makes two passes on the file. In the first pass, it rasterizes all the images with anti-aliasing off to remove the white lines. Then, in the second pass, it rasterizes all the page content to produce a good quality image. Two brand new action lists in Pitstop 13 Update 2 are helpful in reducing file size when publishing online or when producing PDF proofs. We have an action to automatically remove attachments from within PDF files and, in addition, an action to remove object-level metadata. Expanding on the features which address complex or node-heavy PDF files, Pitstop Pro version 13 Update 2 can now be configured to convert shadings or blends to images.
Complex line art with considerable amounts of nodes or points are known to bottleneck at the rip, slowing down production. This new functionality is another tool in your arsenal to be able to handle these types of files efficiently. The Add Pages action list now works with Nth Pages, so you can insert pages as required. This is a very nice addition, as the only option before was to do this task manually. Object-based checks for color plates are now available. Where previously, this was only possible on the page level. Finally, we have a new action to close contours with gaps. This works on a user-defined value and automates something that previously could only be done manually. Thanks for watching, and be sure to watch part 2 of the What's New in Pit Stop version 13 Update 2 video to learn more about the new preflight profile and actionless categories, ISO 19593-1 processing steps, and ESCO packaging, which cater to packaging, large format and label printers, and even digital and commercial printers in some cases.